G'day guys! Today we're going to jump into an upcoming uh, survival game. Uh, it's actually going to release in October, but there's a demo out now which I'll link down below so you can try it out for yourself if you like. It's a beautiful looking game, it looks really good. Steam's synopsis for the game is The Last Plague Blight is an authentic survival experience rooted in realism and immersion. Endure the hazards of a brutal open world and uncover the origins of a mysterious disease. You are humanity's final hope in ending the blight. So yeah, um, you'll see when we get into it, there's like poison clouds and stuff, but it looks amazing. I started a game, as you can see, I played for about an hour just to make sure Everything was cool and it was going to be a fun game. And it looked very fun. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys in case you haven't heard of it yet. So let's jump into a new game and check it out. Hey, day one. Alright, so you can play pretty zoomed in if you so choose. We'll just go through this little tutorial stuff as we run. We'll pick some stuff as we go. Use the scroll wheel to zoom. You hold in your middle button or F, you can rotate. Hold left button to attack. Ha! Hold left alt to highlight. Tab to look at our inventory. M for the map. The map's pretty big too. We're over here at the moment. Ooh, we should walk up here. I don't know what that is, but we should go look. J to bring up the journal. Collect 10 small stones. Alright, we found the road, but it looks like there's no bridge. I wonder if we can just cross here. I'm not sure if the water can harm you or not, but it looks really nice though. Doesn't that look good? Let's see if we can cross. Yep, we can. Well, looks like we're not going any further. Yep, we're at Fool's Hope, and it looks like it was a Fool's Journey. Because there's nowhere for us to go. Unless we can get around... Oh, there's a bridge over there. And we skirt down along the edge of the toxin. Maybe. Alright. So I think our entire mission is to try and work out how to get rid of all that, I think. Hmm. Maybe over here in this area? We'll set up camp. We've got trees nearby. We've got a nice chill area here. Yeah. I think we're going to do it right here. Alright. So let's go build with... Fire pit. Let's... Uh, where are we going to go? Too far to automatically transfer. Alright, here we go. So we'll set up our fire pit here. Alright. So now what's it? 
want us to do? Start collecting fuel, stockpile some firewood. So what that means is we need to cut down some trees. All right, so now start a stockpile. We'll put our stockpile right here so it's nice and easy to throw in the fire. Yeah, so I'll chop down a few trees and get that stockpile going and then I'll be back. All right, so what we want to do is throw this in there. Throw that in there. Ah, we need twigs for that, which I think we can break these down. Yep, there we go. Okay. And we want that in there. Okay, ignite. Okay, now we've lit the fire, what you can do is you can put this in here and then click add fuel. So now you see we've got two and a half hours almost on the fire. Um, now with this big stone and the reason I kept it is we can turn this into a stone bowl. And this is how you get your water. So you come down here. We can fill up the bowl. Because this water isn't clean. You can get sick from drinking it. But now we can put that there and we can boil the water. Okay, I cut down a couple more trees. Oh. Hello there, buddy. Are you friendly? I know boars in Australia aren't generally bloody friendly, so I think we'll just steer clear of him for the moment. Alright, we'll cut all those up in a minute. Um, so stick, craft, and we want a rabbit snare. You can actually watch this happen. Okay, and all right, where did we see that rabbit running through? Just over here. So what we'll do is we'll put this down maybe here. We'll see if we catch that rabbit. We'll cut up these logs and put them in the stockpile. I'm not sure how many of these we can carry at a time. I think it's four. Yep. All right, so let's grab out our water. We can drink it. Then if we put this in our hand, we can just refill it, get it going again. We'll get our liquid fully up and we'll eat one of our sausages we started with. There we go. Now, what does it want us to do next? Make a charcoal pile. 
stockpile some firewood, which we've done. Cook some raw rabbit, so we've got to get a rabbit. Place four medium posts. Okay, so now it wants us to build a basic shelter. Which we need long sticks for. Uh, we go build. Medium post. Okay, we'll put our little shelter here. Alright. Support beams. Were they long sticks as well? Um, support beam. Long sticks. Yep, that's long sticks as well. Okay. Uh, let's move this stuff. Alright, there we go. Now, what? Finish constructing? I have. Oh, okay. I was still missing a rope. There we go. Alright, now I think we need to do the roof. Yeah, stick rafters. Build. That's this one. Go. Okay, what do we need? Four more sticks. Is that long sticks? Long sticks. Alright. Four long sticks. Okay, now I think we put the leaves on. Yep, leaf roof. Where are we? Roofs. Leaf roof. That. What do we need for that? We need five pine branches. Well, we've got plenty of those just over here. Alright. So what we're going to do... Is I'm thinking we get this fire going. Can I put more than that? Yep, I can. Um, let's break some of these up. Okay. Kindling. Let's ignite that. We'll crank the fire up because I feel like that'll keep away wolves, hopefully. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll take some of this. Okay. Add fuel. So that'll give us four hours. Okay, there we go. We've got nine hours. Okay, we'll put our bedroll down. Uh, shift to rotate. There we go. Alright, we'll have a quick sleep. Yay. Sunrise is in nine hours. Need to sleep for eight. Fire will go for nine. That's perfect. Okay, day two. It's not clear where the blight came from, or how it spread so quickly. Your village, Aylesbury, is a wasteland, 
and it doesn't feel like any other parts of civilization in the barony of Crowborough have fared any better. You'll need to figure out some sort of way to minimise or eliminate its effects if you have any hope of surviving in the long run. Find clues about a potential anti-blight serum. Be on the lookout for clues about a potential anti-blight serum. Okay, that was double. You have heard whispers of druids in a far-off land that know how to combat the blight. The stories about healing serums and fantastical elixirs that supposedly cure one's affliction entirely. If these tales are true, then there may be hope for humanity still. You do know that there were a few hermits and occultists taking shelter in the secluded wilderness around your village before the blight. Perhaps you may know more about the druids if they are still alive. Okay, so... Near our village. What was our village called? Aylesbury. So, if we open the map... Aylesbury. <laughs> I, I started here. I've ran all the way up here to set up camp. Now I've got to go bloody back down here. Jeez. Alright. We will do that. Uh, let's keep this fire going. Right, let's drink that. We need to get our water back up before we do anything. Okay, eat a snag. Alright, let's check our trap. Oh man. Oh. Harvest. Harvest it all. Poor little guy. Alright, we can speed this up. Alright. Let's, uh... Look up this rabbit. Look the rabbit meat. I'm wondering... Do we put this there? Try emptying the cooking surface first. I should take this away. Okay. Result in cooked rabbit meat. Can I cook this? No. Okay. That's going to take 18 minutes. We should set this up again. Alright. Now, what else do we have down here? Place a small charcoal pile. How do we do a charcoal pile? Small charcoal pile. We need logs, sticks, and dirt. Okay, three more sticks, two logs, and then a heap of dirt. Okay, some more sticks. Alright, now we have our little charcoal pile to make charcoal tinder
Okay. So now that's making us some charcoal. Alright, so what's it? M collect 200 soft clay, sculpt a soft clay brick. Place a crucible furnace foundation. Crucible furnace foundation. Crucible... Crucible Furnace? Oh! Where does this go? I have no idea. does this take? Uh, 15 clay bricks and 2,000 mud. 2,000 grams of mud. So we need... Took once, so we need 14 more. Okay. Craft. And it went out. Damn. Poor rabbit. Okay. I am full. Okay. Well, we do have a source of food that seems to be going all right. Okay. So, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me know if you've enjoyed it. What I'm thinking of doing is in my own time, I'll try and craft up a box. Um, I'll finish off building this, uh, making the bricks so we can make this. And if you guys want, I'll jump back on then and we can see what more we can do. And then we can go and look up some secrets as well and see what's going on in the world. And if you notice here, I have the tiniest little bit of blight now from eating that rabbit. I don't, I don't know if there's a way to fully kill that off, but it seemed like cooking it didn't completely get rid of it. So there it's like contaminated with plus 50, but when, the, when it finished cooking, it was at like 0.4 or something like that. It was like a tiny bit. That was why I wasn't sure if I should eat it or not, but... Apparently, um, you can't get rid of it completely. So, yeah. Let me know what you're thinking, guys. Let me know if you like the idea of this being a, um, a much more in-depth sort of game. Uh, you've got to do a lot more. As you can see, it's not your typical adventure game where, you know, or... There's a lot of survivals that do survival really well, but it's a little bit less in-depth. This is one of those ones where you literally have to do absolutely everything. You don't really get it handed to you in this or helped much. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'll definitely be playing this when it's released. Um, 
let me know if you think you you will yeah see point seven so it's still there let me take that out we don't need to eat it just yet i don't know so 98 percent condition yeah i'm not sure how long craft with can we do anything with it no nah. can we cook these intestines can't cook anything useful okay hmm wonder if we sausage oh sausage casings okay so how do we make sausage raw ground meat oh so maybe we could have mashed up the rabbit before we threw it on to cook nice that's cool so now we have sausage casings to make some sausage like this okay we'll eat one of these actually while we're chilling there we go we're basically full on all our stats so yeah let me know guys as i said this is about the third time now while i'm trying to finish i just i enjoy it so much i want to hang out with you guys <laughs> but anyway let me know what you think down below i'll definitely be back on this so yeah until then i'll catch you later